All right, Coach, back home this weekend with a pretty big test to close out non-conference play against Cornell. You faced them last year in their building, and they come here. I guess early impressions uh, early on this week of uh, facing Cornell. Well, uh, I think they're ranked number five in the country for a reason. Uh, nine and one record, uh, well-coached team, uh, heavy team. Um, you know, they're systematically they play very, very well, uh, and they've got a lot of skill. So. Um, you know, we've got to prepare uh, to play our very best, and uh, that's what we're going to try to do. How are you feeling moving into this weekend after the team played, like, two different but equally effective games this weekend? Well, I thought we, you know, going on the road and, and playing a very good Bowling Green team, uh, you know, I thought our Friday game was, uh, uh, first period was, was excellent. And, uh, I thought the second period we got a little bit loose for about five minutes, and uh, but we responded uh, with two late goals, and I thought our third period was really, uh, really sound and uh, didn't give them much and, and closed it out. And then Saturday, I didn't feel like we started off the game well, but that's a lot to do with Bowling Green and, and their pushback. And uh, I thought the second period we pushed back. And uh, third period, uh, you know, I thought it was back and forth, a pretty good college game. So, um, you know, I was I was pleased with the weekend. Obviously, you want to get both games, but, um, you know, we you know we played well at uh, in long stretches. Our process was fairly good. Our compete level was pretty good. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to continue to build on that. Your team in Cornell plays similar defensive style games. How do you anticipate your team gaining the upper hand? I just think we have to make sure that we're, we're managing the puck well and, um, you know, playing well away from the puck. Uh, uh, you know, again, like I said earlier, this is a very good, uh, uh, very well coached team. They don't, this is not a team that's going to beat themselves. So, you really have to be uh, focused on the details of the game and uh, make sure that you're playing, um, you know, smart hockey and uh, your compete level is at a high level. So uh, all the things that we normally talk about and normally try to work on during the week are, are things that now when you start getting into the meat of the season here uh, and, and against uh, top-ranked teams, you have, to, you have to do all those things really well to give yourself a chance. How versatile do you see this team kind of becoming? Uh, as it was asked before, uh, pretty different types of games uh, on Friday versus Saturday against Bowling Green. Get a win on, on Friday. Things weren't necessarily off to a great start on Saturday, but you battle back and kind of grind through and get a get a tie in a hostile building. Well, I think our process is getting better uh, each and every day. I think the team is a lot better than it was maybe a month ago or even a month and a half ago. Um, still room for improvement, but... You know, the, the, the resiliency that I see in our team has been there from the beginning. Um, it's just a matter of making sure we stay focused and on the details and stay focused on the game and the next shift. And those are things that, the you know, I think we're getting better at. Um, probably not where we need to be at this point, but uh, we're definitely getting better. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you.